there. So an article came out this week about why you should not use iPerf 3 for Windows 11 Wi-Fi test. Basically, the Windows support team said that iPerf 3 is emulated in Windows, so you're gonna get inconsistent results. So I did a little testing of my own. Now, I use this tool called JPerf, which is, uses iPerf 1.7 for measurement. So I'm running these speed tests using my laptop that has the Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 adapter and the Ingenious ECW536 Wi-Fi 7 access point. Now the server is connected to the same switch as the access point at 10 gigabits per second. So I ran the test with iPerf 1.7 and I got 2.57 gigabits per second. Next I ran the test with the tool Microsoft recommends, NTTTCP. Now it's a little bit kludgy to use this tool, but I got 2.29 gigabits per second. Now a new tool I've been using for speed testing, which makes things a lot easier, is Open Speed Test. So next I ran Open I Speed 2.55 gigabits per second. And then lastly, I ran the test with iPerf 3, using the same parameters that I used on iPerf 2, and I got 0.88 gigabits per second. So I guess when you're doing speed testing, basically don't use iPerf 3 with Windows. You're going to not get correct results. Um, open speed test works really well. It's super easy to use. I'm going to start using that probably uh, the most when I'm doing Wi-Fi speed testing on new access. But you can still use iPerf 2. And NTTTCP still works, but again, it's a little kludgy. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.